Hey everybody, Dave here from Tress Studios and today I wanted to give you a little update on the melon cooler garden or the uh, hydroponic melons in the uh, that I grew in coolers and also I have one here that's just a small sugar baby and it's still in a coffee can so just to show you guys they don't need huge containers but you do have to top them off a lot um, I'm gonna put this in a bigger container though um, the cantaloupes I gotta tell you guys the cantaloupes are my fave here they are just doing great you know here you see one that's almost ready I have two more down here which I'll show you guys um, from one plant and uh, there's lots of flowers still coming so I have a feeling that after I pick these I'll still get some more um, the sugar baby watermelons didn't do as well I'll show you these two coolers over here where I have one melon on each um, I did accidentally roll one of these off on the uh, on the sugar baby watermelons I went to open the cooler and it rolled off and fell and broke off um, so that would have been one that would have been ready by now uh, but there's another one up there now but the cantaloupes really are my fave they really produce a lot so I think I'm just gonna stick with cantaloupes uh, next year and uh, I wanted to tell you guys also how I started these I know I I did a video on uh, when I planted these in the cooler I'll put a link in the description um, of when I started this cooler hydroponic uh, melon cooler garden but I don't know if I told you guys how I started these and basically I just took little peat pots that fit inside the net cup and I filled them up I can't pull one out now because the roots are locked in um, but I just filled up the little peat, peat pot with some uh, potting soil, started my seeds in there, and then when they got to be a few inches tall, I put them right in the net cup and into a mason jar or a coffee can with a hole cut in it. But uh, I wanted to show you guys, these are great. These are jiffy pellets or peat pellets, whatever you want to call them. And basically you just put water on them and they expand and then you can plant your seed in there. And the nice thing is that they, um, once they're all swelled up and they have the plant growing, usually wait until they're like a few inches tall, and then you can just drop them right into the net cup because it fits a three inch net cup fine. In fact, there's a little space around it, but that's okay. And so it makes a nice quick and easy way to, you know, to get going, get something growing and, and put it right into a net cup and into a hydroponic situation. Sorry about the noise, they're doing some tree work down the street. But anyway, let's take a better look at these melons and then um, you guys can see how it's, how it's progressed. This one, like I said, the cantaloupes are the best, but I'll show you the other, uh, the other coolers I got going with the sugar baby watermelon. So here's a little bit of a closer look. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know too that um, to know when these are ripe, they're going to smell really nice and sweet and ripe. And this one, you can see the color is a little bit lighter and more um, yellowish than those back there. Like this one back here is a little more green. So they're more, when they're getting ripe, they're getting more to this yellowish color as opposed to the, um, you know, greener but the biggest giveaway is the smell so as you can see there's one cantaloupe there there's the one I put on the lid and there's one back there and you can see we have some some nice flowers coming on there so we probably are gonna get more and it goes all the way goes way over here this is my studio there. So this is usually full sun. I just I just have my cover it over it so I could uh, film without being too uh, too much in the sun. So here's the next um, sugar baby watermelon in this cooler, and um, like I said, I had a nice double that size watermelon. I shouldn't put them on the top of the cooler, but I like to grow them up there because it makes a cool, it makes a great thumbnail for the video, I think, you know. And it's just, it's just fun because you can see 
how they're doing instantly by just looking at the top. So I don't I don't see any other I see flowers on this this watermelon plant, but I don't see any other watermelons right now. Yeah, there's some flowers there. And so this this cooler probably I think this one took the most. I think this one took like 15 gallons and the other two took 10. Now here's another cooler down here. This one's on wheels. This plant doesn't look too great. But we have a nice nice size watermelon there. These are the sugar babies so they don't get that big. But let me show you uh, a close up on these these little pots here. So as you can see, that's just a peat pot that I filled up with potting soil. And um, I probably did that because I couldn't find my, my jiffy pellets because I like to use these jiffy pellets. They're peat pellets, I guess. Um, but the, the pots worked well too. They actually fit the net cup even a little better. I want to show you guys inside the cooler too, just to show you guys the root mass on this this cantaloupe. This cantaloupe, um, uh, I'm giving this cantaloupe master blend. Oh, I can't open it, guys, because I'm gonna I'm gonna dump the uh, thing. But I think I have some other footage of inside if I can find it. I lost a lot of footage with my um, with a card that I uh, had an accident with one of my my media cards and I lost a lot of footage but anyway if I can I'll show you guys in here because the the root mass is quite huge and it's drinking um, I fill it every other day with about um, three gallons so you really um, you know the bigger size cooler you can get the better but uh, you know it will work even in the 10 gallon even in a five gallon you know this watermelon's growing in just this large coffee can but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna transplant that today. Okay, so we're gonna open up this cantaloupe. My wife and I are gonna have it this morning. We'll see how it looks. Smells wonderful. Let's see, see how sweet it is. Mmm. Very good. Just wait, guys, until it smells like a sweet cantaloupe, and it is. So that was really good. I enjoyed that melon, and um, I believe it was a um, heirloom cantaloupe. So I'm going to save all these seeds. I'm going to put them in the strainer and rinse them off, and then I'll just put them back on this plate and let them dry out. And then I can put them in a little envelope and label them. Because, um, you know, seeds are getting more and more expensive, and I think an envelope of cantaloupe seeds would be like $4 or something. $4 and something. But anyway, we've got them right here, so may as well keep them. So that's all you got to do is just rinse them off as best you can, and then put them back on the plate, and let them dry out, and then you can save them for next year. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the the, uh, the, the melon video and the update. I, uh, I'm looking forward to this one's going to be ready any day now. So anyway, I hope you're all well. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.